Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung. Happy Memorial Day. This is a special day for us to give thanks and to remember those who have sacrificed for us to make what life what it is like today. And this morning, I went for a walk and I took pictures of these peonies. They are in full bloom at this time of the year, at least around here. And I would like to share them with you uh, to celebrate this Memorial Day. And in this video, I'm going to show you a unique way uh, to cook angel hair pasta noodles by pan frying them in a wok. A pan fried noodle is a well known dish in Cantonese cooking. Now, however, the noodles that are normally used are egg noodles. I was very happy when I discovered that I can use spaghetti pasta noodles. And they work as well as the egg noodles. They are readily available and they are more economical. And it turned out that the angel hair pasta noodles actually works the best. I usually use the pan fried noodles as the foundation for another dish. Uh, in this case, it's a shrimp vegetable medley dish. I just put it over the pan fried noodles. Again, this is a form of template based cooking uh, because I can use the pan fried noodles to go with any other type of dish that I cook. And by using this basic template, I could create many different variations of noodle dishes. Uh, this basic template provides me with many options uh, to my meals. And of course, you can use the angel hair pasta noodles for any other type of noodle dishes that you will like. I'm going to cook this dish in my Emusa 14-inch light cast iron wok. Uh, it used to be my everyday wok, particularly for cooking on my flat glass top electric range. Uh, unlike a carbon steel wok, the light cast iron wok will not change its shape when they heat it up, so it will not warp and uh, cause it to become unstable on the flat surface. Uh, you can take a look at this video if you would like to learn more about this wok. I'm going to start out with uh, 2 tablespoons of uh, cooking oil. I heat up the oil and then I season the wok with my spot seasoning method uh, to create a non-stick cooked surface. Uh, for this meal, I'm going to use 3 cups of pre-cooked angel hair pasta noodles. I'm going to use a pair of long handled tongs uh, to tease up the noodles and distribute them on the surface of the wok. A pan frying noodles could be quite tricky uh, because the noodles has a tendency to stick and burn to the surface of the wok. Uh, there's a trick to prevent this from happening. Uh, you cook the noodles in advance and then you store the noodle in the refrigerator for up to two days or longer. Uh, this step is essential to prevent the noodle from sticking and burning to the surface of the wok. Uh, when you store the noodles in the refrigerator, it dries it out. Uh, this reduction in moisture uh, allows the noodle to soak up the oil when you put the noodles in the wok. Uh, this approach actually works really well. As you notice here, that when I use the tongue to lift the noodles, uh, they did not stick to the wok at all. Uh, when I first started cooking this dish, I have the burner turned to high. Uh, by now, I have turned the burner setting to low or medium low. Uh, this reduction of heat uh, will brown the noodles instead of burning them. Uh, you want the noodle to be brown and crispy, but you do not want them to be burned because that it might make it taste bitter. Uh, although you will discover that slight charring is unavoidable, uh, that will make the texture of noodle crispy and make them more flavorful. It usually takes about 5 to 6 minutes to fry one side of the noodles. I use my pair of tongs constantly to check the progress. And then when I decided it is ready, I flip the entire noodle over in a single piece. And now I proceed to fry the noodle uh, on the other side. At this point, I usually add some additional oil, usually another 1 to 2 tablespoons of cooking oil. Uh, because frying the noodle on the first side uh, has consumed most of the cooking oil. Uh, food is all about contrasting texture, uh, which makes the food taste delicious and interesting. Uh, this pan fried noodle is a prime example why such a dish is so attractive. Uh, because this pan fried noodle presents two different textures, 
a soft texture and a crispy texture all in one noodle dish. Uh, this dish originated in China, like I mentioned, that they use egg noodles instead. Uh, it was one of the most popular noodle dishes uh, in the southern part of China. Now it has become popular all over China. Uh, my wife loved this dish immediately when she first had it in a Chinese restaurant in Hong Kong. Now I could cook it anytime she would like to have it because I can cook it with uh, angel hair pasta noodles. Okay, by now the fried noodle is done and the total cook time is about 15 minutes. And you notice that nothing sticks to the bottom of the wok. In some instances, people call these pan fried noodles chow mein. However, this is actually quite different from chow mein because in chow mein, uh, the noodles are cooked together with the ingredients. And in this case for the pan fried noodles, the ingredients and the noodles are cooked separately. The advantage of this approach is that you can retain the texture of the pan fried noodles with its crispiness and its softness all go together. And of course, you can use any toppings that you want to go on top of the noodles. If you develop this as a template, uh, I can assure you, you will find many uses uh, to make your meal fun, interesting and creative. And this is the foundation of template-based cooking of my fast cooking system, which also includes flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and of course, template-based cooking. I post a video each day to demonstrate my fast cooking system to help you uh, to make cooking as part of your daily routines. Uh, through home cooking, it not only will improve your wellness, but also uh, will allow you to cook the food that you love. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.